Hundreds of people gathered inside a Dundalk church today to say goodbye to a young murder victim. Detectives found 20 year old Jasmine Morris dead in the bleachers of a Baltimore high school earlier this month. Kimberly Eaton is live at city police headquarters where the investigation into Morris's murder continues. Kimberly? And Devon police say they have her killer, but this week continued searching for evidence. Just a nightmare situation for family and friends who describe Morris as an angel. A beaming smile printed on t shirts worn by family and friends who gathered Saturday to mourn 20 year old Jasmine Morris. They held a private goodbye in Dundalk, happening in the midst of an ongoing murder investigation. Earlier this week, police combed the eastern landfill, picking through trash in a search for evidence, though they say Morris's murderer is already behind bars. Her ex boyfriend, now her accused killer. Some sort of argument took place, uh, and um, the victim, Jasmine, was stabbed to death. Less than two weeks ago, a friend's pointed detectives to the football field behind Reginald F. Lewis High School, where they say Morris planned to meet 22 year old Christopher Rather to talk. There, charging documents say they found Morris on her knees, tied up with her head down in a pool of blood. A crime scene in the bleachers. It's shocking because of the location, but what's not shocking and what's sad is this is a domestic related situation. While investigators worked, they say rather posted on Facebook, quote, I can't believe it. Please let this be a lie or a mistake. Court documents say he pointed police to two alibi witnesses, one who later admitted rather asked him to lie. He's now facing murder charges. We see it all too often, and it graduates and baby steps and gets to a point where we're talking about a situation like this. And prosecutors have charged Rather with first and second degree murder. Reporting live tonight in downtown Baltimore, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. Morris was a model and aspiring singer remembered today at New Shiloh Baptist Church in Dundalk, where she sang in the choir.